Hi guys, you may have known that in August I hosted my first ever readathon called the Classics-a-thon and I had so much fun doing it so I am bringing it back again before the end of the year and I am going to be hosting a Christmas Classics-a-thon in December which I am so excited about. One of my favourite things about the Classics-a-thon in August was getting to see all of the classics that you had chosen to read and it was such a nice community atmosphere and spirit that I can't wait to bring it back and this time around we are going to have some challenges. So the readathon will be happening from the 1st to the 31st of December which gives you the chance to get in some last minute classics before the end of the year. So there are going to be four challenges during the readathon so you can join in with these if you want to but if you don't want to join in with the challenges but still want to read classics then that decision is up to you but they are there to build your TBRs with if you would like to use them. I'm going to give you some recommendations recommendations today based on the challenges and what I would choose to read or what I have read that I think would be a good idea for each challenge and it would be really nice to see your suggestions in the comments based on each of the challenges too and for you all to recommend books to each other and I'll be hopping in in the comments too and recommending books if you would like specific recommendations. So I'm going to get into the challenges and the first one is to read at least one classic during the month and this is your free choice challenge. So any classic counts to towards this and I'm not specific on what a classic is. If you think that you are reading a classic then go with that. So it can be a classic written 500 years ago or 200 years ago or it can be a modern classic and I think that a good way to approach this challenge is to think about a classic that you have wanted to read for ages and then set out time in the month to read that classic. We are getting up to the end of the year and I think it's always nice to read something towards the end of the year that makes you feel a great sense of a achievement and I think this challenge will be really good for that. So you might want to read something like Wuthering Heights or Great Expectations or Of Mice and Men or The Great Gatsby or a Virginia Woolf book. Anything you can think of that you would really like to read. The second challenge in December is to read a book that features or reminds you of Christmas and one of the books that I'm going to be reading for this challenge, so a sneak peek at my TBR, is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens which is one of the most famous Christmas related books. I would encourage lots of you to read this because I think it's going to be really nice to read. It is an absolute classic and it's quite a short one too so I think that the approach I'm going to make with my TBR is to feature long books and then some shorter ones too to really pace out my reading which I think is going to make for a much more enjoyable month. And I've been reading lots of Charles Dickens this year and I'm really enjoying his writing. I think if you're not super comfortable with classics then this is going to be one that I think will be really encouraging and I also think that it's going to be a brilliant book to read at this time of year. Another book that always reminds me of Christmas is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis mainly because they show the film adaptations a lot over Christmas so that's what always reminds me of it but also because of the snowy setting of Narnia and I think that this is going to be another one that makes you feel really cosy and really good but also there's a lot to think about in it and I think that it's going to be really nice to read this and watch the adaptations too if you can. Then two other suggestions you might like are in a range that Penguin has brought out and they've been out for a while and they are their Christmas classics. So we have The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman and The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus by L. Frank Baum. Of course these just look Christmassy and they have Christmas themes in the book and L. Frank Baum actually wrote The Wizard of Oz so I'm really looking forward to reading this one myself. I've actually had to stop myself from reading these because I think it's slightly too early yet but these are definitely two that I'm going to be hoping to read in December. Then the third challenge in December is going to be to read a children's classic because I don't think there's a better time of the year to read children's classics and often we think of them as books for children but I still think that as an adult you can get lots out of them and if you've got children yourself it might be nice to read a classic alongside them. So I have three recommendations here that I absolutely love and the first one is Carrie's War by Nina Borden which was my favourite classic as a child. I read this for the first time when I was around nine I think and fell in love with it and it's about a girl called Carrie and her brother who are evacuated 
created during the war. And it's all about their time as evacuees, but also as Carrie as an adult looking back at her time and thinking about this awful thing she did that's been haunting her for years. And I loved this. And I think there is something really nice about revisiting a classic that you loved as a child. And this is definitely one that I can't wait to revisit. Another children's classic that I love is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And there are a few problematic things about this book, particularly during the start and the way it portrays illness. But at the heart of it, it's about a girl called Mary who has been very out of touch with the world and the world around her. And the bit that I love most about this book is the way that she connects with nature and the way that the landscape around her is written about and the closeness and the bond she creates with it. It's another one that has a great film adaptation and I love reading the book and then watching the film afterwards. And then the final book I want to recommend for this challenge is one that I read recently and have been talking about a lot. It may be very predictable, but it is Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. And I am obsessed with this book now. I read it in September and I can't stop thinking about it, can't stop talking about it. And I am kind of hoping that I'll get to sneak in the sequel during the readathon, but I'm not sure if I'll manage to get around to it. But if you haven't read this, then I would highly recommend it because it's such a lovely book. The writing in it is beautiful and the main character is incredible. And there is so much heart and soul to this book that I think is impossible not to love. It's about a young orphan called Anne Shirley who is adopted by an elderly brother and sister called Matthew and Marilla. And it's about her time living at Green Gables and the adventures she has and the challenges she faces faces and I love it. Please read this book if you haven't. And then the final challenge during the readathon is going to be to read a book translated into your native language. So it's a very international challenge. So if you live in another country and your native language isn't English, then you might like to read a book like Wuthering Heights translated into your native language. Or if your native language is English, then I think it's going to be really good to read a book that has been translated into English from another language. And these are a few that I definitely considered when making my TBR. And the first one is Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, which has been translated into English from the French. And this is the Penguin Crossbound Classics Edition, which I really like because it's got a good introduction and good notes as well. And each edition you get will be translated slightly differently, but I don't think you can go wrong with the Penguin translations because I find them very reliable. Another book you might like to choose for this challenge is The Door by Magda Zabo in this vintage classics edition and I think that it's really nice to go for a book set in a country that you're not used to for example I think it would be a easy choice to go for something by a French author but I don't find that many people talk about Hungarian authors on YouTube so I think it's going to be interesting to read something like this. At the start of the year one of you recommended to me The Bridge Over the Drina by Eva Ondrich and this has been translated from Serbian and I I think it sounds amazing and is again not one I hear a lot on YouTube and it was really nice to have one of you recommend a book to me from your own language and I bought a copy straight away and I'm really excited to read it and then the last classic that it might be good to read for this challenge is The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. This has been translated from French and is not one for the light-hearted because it is a slightly longer classic but it's a very famous story and I think it's always really nice to read a book that is very famous because often you have many ideas of it that actually aren't true. Many ideas like the typical Frankenstein um, idea that Frankenstein is the monster but then when you read Frankenstein you realise that Frankenstein is in fact Dr Frankenstein and not the monster so I like to read famous books like that because I think it really challenges my ideas that I already had on them. So those were some of my recommendations based on the four challenges but you don't have to read any of these this is just a starting point that you might like to explore but of course I'd love to know your suggestions and your recommendations in the comments and I would also love to see you post your TBRs using hashtag Classicsathon on Twitter and Instagram and also feel free to post your own TBRs to YouTube. I'm going to be posting mine towards the end of this month and I'm really enjoying building my TBR at the moment. There are so many books to choose from that it's really hard to narrow it down but I think that my selections are really good and I can't wait to share that video with you. I'm also going to be doing regular live shows during December and I'll announce the dates 
for those during my TBR video so that you will know when those will be. They'll be hosted between YouTube and on Instagram Live so you can follow me on Instagram at Lucy the Reader if you'd like to follow along with that and I'll also be posting on Instagram a story template where you can share your TBR so keep an eye out for that so you can share them on your stories too. I am so excited for the classics of Thorn and I really hope you can join in whether you want to read one book or ten books or something in between. I really hope you have a great classics of Thorn and I just can't wait. Bring on December. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Happy reading!